beautiful Wally world. Wonderful, wonderful Wally world. We're in Cranbrook, British Columbia. It's a beautiful day, it's hot. It's hot. Want some bread? So many choices. So many choices. I need to restock my supply of oil in the truck. My spare oil, just in case, you know. You need to add a gallon here and there. So it's good to have oil. I also need some uh, washer fluid and some, whatchamacallit, antifreeze. Antifreeze. Antifreeze is probably in the next aisle or something. This is all like, for cars. Further back you'll hear is for diesel engines, diesel trucks. Antifreeze. That's handy. And the washer fluid right beside it. Ha ha! Even better. This morning is awesome so far. There's something some of you might be interested in. A lot of you are wondering, how do people go to the washroom in the truck? We don't go in the truck. Sometimes guys, depending on the area we're in, we can get away with, you know, checking the tires, stuff like that. It's a little easier for us to find a spot in the middle of nowhere. However, women, a lot of times they need a bathroom. Solution. Portable toilet at Walmart. Compact and lightweight. 5.3 gallon capacity. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, I don't know if you guys uh, would be interested in something like this, but hey, you can have a little toilet inside your truck then, and you don't have to uh, stress out so much about finding a toilet, you know? You can go ahead, drink that Pepsi. If you need to go to the bathroom, Walmart's got you covered. All right, so we got everything back in the truck here and packed away, and I've been doing some reorganizing. Uh, for one, I put the, I Febreze the dog's bed. I put it out there on the hood once it focuses on it. Uh, just to air it out, Febreze it out, so it doesn't smell so much like dog all the time. In the meantime, Sergeant's down here chewing on his nice little bone that I got him. Hey, Sarge, you like your bone? Did I get a good one? Thanks. Very good, man. Very good, thanks. Very good. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Got all this room here, all this room here. And I decided to leave this whole area here, the bed on the bottom for the dogs like I had originally thought. I tried sleeping on the bottom there for two nights now. Figure, you know what, let's just clean it up real nice. It's my little storage area here. And I have two cases of water here just for now uh, that holds the blanket in place and whatnot. Uh, I'll probably move them back over here yet, but uh, this is where the dogs are gonna be. I left the side with the window open for them with a pillow there, a pillow by the window so that they can see out the window while lying on a pillow. Nice and comfortable while they're looking out the window. Some of you are worried about, the dogs can't see out the windows. They can see out the windows. Windows everywhere. Right, Sergeant? Right. Oh, okay, you're drooling, you're drooling. Okay, when you, I gotta teach you something. When you drink the water, you gotta swallow it before you turn around, okay? And every time you turn around and you bleh, drag half of water bowl over the whole floor here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? Swallow the water before you turn around. So frustrating. Such a sloppy drinker. You're such a sloppy drinker. But yeah, so we're about to go out for a run and enjoy this beautiful Cranbrook weather. We're here waiting for a load. Uh, apparently they want to send me over to Kelowna or something, but they're waiting for a load to go from here to there. I don't know if there's going to be any freight from around this area going to Kelowna. It's, I've never heard of it before, but hey, that's why I'm a driver, I'm not a dispatcher. They'll find it. So they just told me to hang tight here a little while and wait for some calls that they're waiting for. And then I will see where I'm headed from here. But in the meantime, I made myself useful. I made good use of my time. I went to Walmart, I bought some stuff. That's why you go to Walmart to buy stuff. And then I reorganized my truck so it's nice and neat. So now, this is gonna be my room up here. Nice and clean, free of dog hair, free of dogs. Though I really, I like sleeping on the bottom here because then the dogs jump up on the bed and they sleep by my feet. I miss that about sleeping down here. That's why I want to. So maybe I'll go back and forth, back and forth. Maybe I'll come back down here yet. But for now, I'm going to stay up here and sleep on the top bunk. That's my room. And I strapped in their uh, cage in the back there like that. That's nice and safe in there. And uh, if I need it. Say if I go to Newfoundland again and I need to go on the ferry, one of them has to stay in the cage, otherwise they'll tear this place apart. Then uh, I have it, but it's out of the way for now. That's what I've been up to. 
Maybe I'll periscope. I don't know. If not, oh, I also I found my SimCity 4, my game that I've been looking for. I cleaned out my truck while I was at home, and I found the game. Maybe I'll go play that. It's like my favorite game in the world. Well, it looks like we're leaving Cranbrook now. We're headed to Kelowna, British Columbia. That's where we're getting loaded tomorrow morning. And then we'll be taking off towards home, by the sounds of it, just like I thought. So when you do this job long enough, you start figuring out what might happen in the future. Not saying I know the future, but sometimes you just have a good idea. Please drive to highlighted route. There you go. 571 kilometers. It's like a half day. I'd like to go further than that. I wish they'd have a trailer ready there for me, but uh, oh, we'll take what we can get for the day. Better than just sitting around doing nothing all day. Let's get going. All right, and off we go. Off we go. We are headed towards Kelowna, British Columbia. At first, Mandy wanted to take me right along the American border and right along the Crow's Nest Pass, all the way, like literally, right along the U.S. border. But it's such a long, windy, twisty, narrow road. It's 20 kilometers further if I just go back up to the Trans-Canada and take the Federal Highway, which is still a two-lane highway, but it's better than the Crow's Nest. So that's what we're gonna do. Tim Hortons, you really got to start sponsoring me for all of this talk I do about you. <laughs> I just really like them. I just really like Tim Hortons. That's the only reason I talk about them so much. They're not paying me to say nothing. Though I do more advertising for them than a lot of YouTubers do on their actual brand deals. <laughs> so let's see here. There's a little bit of an imbalance. Oh well, what can you do? I just really like their stuff. I like their stuff a lot. A lot. Maybe one day they'll notice me. You know what we should do? All of you. Go on to Twitter or wherever you can get a hold of Tim Hortons and go and tell them, hey, watch Trucker Josh. Let's go fill up their whole feed. Go, hey, at Tim Hortons. Go watch at Trucker Josh 456 if you're on Twitter. Go do it right now. See what they do. See if they notice it. See if, see if they respond to any of you. And if they respond to any of you, Retweet it or send the tweet to me so that I can see if they responded. All right, we're gonna try to get Tim Horton's attention here. Golden British Columbia. Golden, like that's golden. Like that golden necklace. The golden ring. Yeah, I don't think I've come this way before. I've never actually gone through town. Very interesting. Oh, look, there's people. There's people here. Huh. And another guy. Hello. Didn't even say hi back. What a guy. So we're gonna be going through town here and getting onto the Trans Canada. In 1.4 kilometers we make a turn. So we gotta go through through a little bit of town yet. Oh, gasoline is a dollar thirty point nine here. That's thirty cents higher per liter than back home. Wow, that's insane. They don't leave us too much space here. So his 
historic downtown. I don't know if we'll actually go through historic downtown. I kind of hope not, because I got a big truck. And I'm assuming historic downtown would be a little bit tight. Oh yeah, historic downtown is just to our left over there. Okay, so we don't have to go through. That's pretty cool. RCMP. Hello, copper. Have a good day. Where do I turn now? Oh, no, I keep going straight, right? That guy's going there. I keep going straight. Okay. All right, let's give her. How many of you come through here before? 50 meters. Turn left on ramp to one. <coughs> before I was interrupted. How many of you have come through here before? Right through the town of Golden. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, what, what you Turn left here. We want to go to more Sycamus. Turn left on ramp to one. That's what I'm doing, man. That's why I'm in the turning lane. Come on, pay attention. Drive 650 meters, then keep left onto Highway 1 West. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. Mercedes would be going this slow and I have one of the most underpowered engines out there and it's just got a load of lumber so I don't know what kind of truck he has but I think he needs a new motor just saying <laughs> oh he's got super beasts that adds a little bit of weight okay I see there's cars behind me like right behind me on my bumper Nothing I can do about it, guys. I know. I'm stuck behind them, too. So these are actually... Uh, they use these things for avalanches, right? So the avalanche will come down over this tunnel so that the traffic can keep going. And it'll be a controlled avalanche, right? So they'll, they'll stop traffic, but... The point of it is that all the snow goes over the road and then they don't have to clear the road after they... Uh, have a controlled avalanche. Oh, and they closed the passing lane too? Oh, come on, that's not very nice. <laughs> that was just my luck. The one time I can get past it. No, nope. we're gonna put these cones here for no apparent reason. All right, well, they are doing construction up there, I see. Creeping, creeping, creeping. Come on, buddy. You gotta get it in gear. Wow. What, 10 kilometers an hour? Almost? Wow. Is this a new 
bridge. I don't remember these bright lights. Or a new tunnel? This looks like a new tunnel. Did we get a new tunnel? This looks like a new tunnel. Interesting. Maybe they just redid it? Hopefully there's gonna be a passing lane soon because I need to get past this guy. This is a little bit too much. Come on, buddy. Let me past you, you're slow. This is my unhappy face. I'm stuck behind a slow poke. See here on the left? That's where they mount the guns that they shoot up the mountain to trigger the avalanche. He drives on down the road Taking care of all that heavy load Trucker Josh He's got a dog named Diesel Trucker Josh We sometimes call him Weasel All is fine up in the truck as you can tell No he has Sergeant there as well well guys, you all full of pee and poo again? I'm all full, man. You can let it out, man. We need to go outside right now. You sure? You sure we need to go outside? Sergeant, how about you? Do you need to go outside? You better not go in my bed, man. Oh, you like that idea? I like that idea, man. I like it. Let's go outside. I haven't been showing you enough in the vlogs lately, guys. I'm sorry. You haven't been getting the airtime you deserve, and everybody's like, Where's Diesel? Where's Sergeant? Chuck a Josh! Where are they? Where are they, Chuck a Josh? I'm hogging them all to myself. All mine. Right, guys? You're all mine. All mine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are in Kelowna, British Columbia. Beautiful out here. The worst thing about driving through British Columbia is you have to stare at the road and you miss all the scenery Just saying Thanks for joining me today guys tomorrow is another day. We'll have another vlog up for you tomorrow I will see you then don't forget go down below to the description guys a bunch of links down there Do you want a trucker Josh shirt go down below? There's a store a link to my store down there There's links to past vlogs of mine all the way up to two years ago all kinds of stuff. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links all down below. Where are they? Say it with me. Down below. Go check them out if you haven't already. And if you have already, thank you very much for being a part of the Trucker Josh family. I'll see you tomorrow.